called a pair of procedural votes on plans to end the government shutdown. Our Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth has been tracking this vote and she joins us in Washington, D.C. Samantha Joe, are we any closer to actually ending the shutdown? Well, Jerry, the Senate will vote on a number of proposals today, one from Democrats from Republicans, but no one here is terribly optimistic that either one of these measures is going to pass. It could carve out a pathway to an eventual compromise in the future. So what exactly is in these proposals? Well, one of them is from the president. It would give, uh, it would get $5.7 billion in uh, border wall money. It also gives temporary protections for DACA recipients brought to the country as children. The Democratic plan, just a three week long continuing resolution funding the government at current levels with some money for disaster relief, but no new money for a border wall. Now, I spoke with Florida Senator Rick Scott, who says he plans to back the president's proposal, but admits the package isn't ideal. It's not a perfect bill. It's not the bill that that I'd like to have passed, uh, but it's a bill that says we're going to we're going to open our government. We're going to do bo uh, border security. We've got to fix TPS. This idea that we just uh, willy nilly decide whether when we're going to extend TPS doesn't make any sense at all. We need to have a permit fix. So we need what I want is a permit fix for the border, so we don't have to do this in three months or three years. Number two, we ought to have a permit solution for Dreamers and for TPS. Now, Senator Marco Rubio also tells me he plans to back the president's proposal. The measure will need 60 votes to pass. Reporting on Capitol Hill, Samantha Jaroth, Spectrum News 13. A new study 